Hello, I'm John. I'm Drake. Welcome to the food review. Today, I'm trying out four new flavors of Lay's potato chips. These, uh, the four flavors are supposed to be from around the world. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them look familiar, like this one. Uh, this is Greek tzatziki. I'm thinking it's going to taste a lot like the, the gyro one. Which I was not personally a fan of. Well, I think these... Yeah, these are the wavy version. These are regular? This looks good. Szechuan chicken? Chinese? Yes, that one looks good. I'm not sure if Szechuan chicken is a real Chinese thing or if it's an American Chinese thing. I can go with either one. This one looks interesting. It's a steak and chimichurri. Brazilian? What do you call that? Picana? Picana? Steak and chimichurri sauce. Mm -hmm. and, and then... Lastly, these are the kettle cooked ones. Those are the kettle cooked ones. Indian tik tikka masala. Yes. Which looks like is like chicken. It's a chicken. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's. I I couldn't tell you what it is. Maybe it's got curry. Maybe. Maybe. I've had tikka masala. It's just. Ah, here we go. Packed with flavorful spices like turmeric and cumin, the tomato-based di dish tikka masala is fixed in a global cuisine. Okay, which one are you gonna try first? Well, since I just explained this one, we'll start with this one. All right, let's start with the Indian we can chips. Read the descriptions before eating it. <laughs> so this is tikka masala. So just like the uh, the chew the flavor or whatever one, they usually have one wavy and one kettle. Mm -hmm. So this is the kettle one. You can see it's all curly. Kettle's my personal favorite. This definitely smells. It smells very, very Indian. Indian. Yes. Let's try this out. Oh, this one's got a lot of flavor. I like this one. Hmm. It's very good. Mm. I can't quite put my finger on what it is that makes it taste Indian. I don't think it's just turmeric and cumin. Because there's definitely something in there that's making it taste more Indian. Maybe like a curry sauce, curry in there. It says tikka masala seasoning, including turmeric and cumin. Mm. It's good. It is definitely hold tastes very Indian. Oh. Uh. Hold it way too quick. All right, you got it. So far. So good. Mm-hmm. Definitely a tomato-y kind of flavor to it. All right, what's next? Next, we'll go with the uh, Brazilian picana, which is the steak and chimichurri sauce. Picana, the finest cut of Brazilian steak, is a skewer grilled with coarse, is skewer grilled with coarse salt to lock in the flavor. So is it, is it like, supposed to taste like the steak you get at like a Brazilian steakhouse? I sure hope so. Those are pretty good steaks. Uh, apparently you'll be saying mice, por favor. Mice? Listen. Uh, yes, mice. Is that like uh, Portuguese from like moss? That's or? my guess. Smells not like steak. It smells not like steak at all. There is kind of a steaky taste to it though. Kinda. Kinda is a definitely the word there. It's not the steak that we know in the States. Like it's a meatier flavor. Mm hmm But nothing I'm familiar with at all. Not to say it's bad. Not bad. It is, I would say it's good. It's a bit of an oniony. A little meaty. Mm hmm. I prefer the masala to this one yeah. so far, but one more to go. Behind the masala. The masala still number one. Then, Greek tzatziki, the one that we suspect will be like the Euros, 
When the Greek mixed dill, garlic, and other unique spices to yogurt, tzatziki became a Mediterranean classic. That's where they get this from. Okay. And these are the wavy chips. Yes. Smell very like sour cream or yogurty. Oh yeah, big time. Oh, different than the gyros. Gyros, gyros. More cucumbery. Definitely, very dill. A lot of dill in that flavor. Yeah, it's like dill, cucumber, and like a yogurty flavor. Mm-hmm. Which I think this actually tastes better than the Euros one. I think they're still very similar. Um, maybe the Euro maybe had a little bit of a meatier flavor to the chip, but definitely had hints of this, so it's very familiar. Now, one thing I never got was flavored wavies. It isn't like the, the objective of it being wavy or ruffled is that it dips better. Mm -hmm. So why would you flavor the wavy ones? I mean, what are you going to dip it in? Tzatziki. So now you have a tzatziki flavor chip. You dip, dip it in tzatziki. tzatziki. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's your uh, you dip, opportunity. If you dip a tzatziki chip in tzatziki, is it like tzatziki exception? I mean, I don't see why not. That's the joke of the day for this one. Everyone is asking for more jokes. Ah, okay, good. So make sure to laugh. Right. And then finally, Lastly. Chinese Sichuan chicken. The regional, also, apparently this is uh, actual Chinese. The regional Sichuan pepper is where takeout favorite Sichuan chicken gets its name for. Why wait for delivery? We've got tongue tingling sensation of mala right here. So is it gonna be spicy, you think? No. Smell spicy? Not really. No, not really. It smells almost sweet. Not a lot of color or stuff on this one. Mine's a little more orange y. That is interesting. Ooh. It is spicy. A little bit. Um, I could tell you from the first chip, this is instantly my favorite of the group. Hmm. I don't know. I might like the tea masala more. But it's very close. Yes. So I'm not familiar enough with the Sichuan pepper to know if this actually uh, does it justice, but it is a bit of a peppery flavor to it. Yeah. This is how I'm going to rank them. I'm going to say Tiki Masala number one, Sichuan number two, Steak Pecana number three, and Greek tzatziki number four. I will mimic three and four, but I'll switch around one and two. I prefer the Sichuan chicken to the tikka masala. Both, both are obviously good. very good. Even the number four, the tzatziki one, yeah, still was pretty good. There was no bad chips out of these four. Mm -hmm. But obviously uh, these are sold everywhere, so you can make up your own decision and vote accordingly. Oh, is there a voting thing? Is there? Try all four global flavors. Uh, I think it's just like a contest to win a trip or something. I think that's all it is, yes. Cluck Miles, you can win every day. You get codes from these bags, enter it at Lays.com, and then use that to win prizes. You could win trips, travel gear, and more. And if you win a trip, you can catch Pokemon in a different place. That's true. Pokemon are regional, so... I you never know what you'll find. Out of the 150 that are in the game right now, I think there's like five of them that you can't catch in the United States. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I think if you're in the United States, you'd only catch 145 of them. 
There's like five of them that are regional to other places. That's a good thing I have a passport. <laughs> Let us know if you play Pokemon Go and what your highest CP Pokemon is. To see if it beats us. Go Team Instinct. Team Instinct, yes. Team Yellow Instinct. Mm -hmm. My highest currently is a Vaporeon, which is a 1129. And I have a Hypno, which is <clears throat> 898. Mm -hmm. It's pretty weak. I've seen gyms around with bigger and much better, but I've yeah. still managed to take them down with my Hypno. The two strongest I've ever seen was a 1500 Vile Plume and a 16 something Dragonite. I've seen a Dragonite almost at 2000. Very wow. close. Also, chips. Chips are good. Yes. That's the main takeaway. Yeah. Let us know what your favorite chip is in the comment section below. If you've tried all four. Or if you've just tried one of them and you really like it. Yeah. Any comments. Please. Just comment all day. Yeah. If it's just, you can comment to yourself. Reply to your own comment. I've seen people insult him in the comments. Yes. Sometimes I laugh out loud. <laughs> Sometimes I don't. I might respond with an equally funny comment to your comment. Mm hmm then you can laugh and laugh out loud as well. See, we have a sense of the humor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.